Hello everyone, this is Silent here with my last Tony Hawk game playthrough. This is Tony Hawk's Underground 1. going to be playing through it on sick mode, trying to, you know, get as much done as possible. You know, most of the goals, uh, most of the stats filled out, um, tapes, secret levels, all that jazz. So, you know, I'm going to keep it entertaining, but I'm also going to try and be a little bit more informative and helpful with this playthrough. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy it. Should be a crazy ride. Check it, man. Muska is actually coming to this dump for a steak demo. Get dressed, let's go. Just gotta love the uh, the little epic head nod, and then the music cuts out completely. Um, you know, if anything I love about this game, it is the soundtrack. It is one of the best soundtracks in any Tony Hawk game you will find, at least in my opinion. Uh, and then we move on to our skater customization, and you can change quite a bit. I'm, I'm quite happy with the uh, customization in this game. You can change a lot around. And I find it kind of funny that the scenario is set up, like, your buddy there was just like, all right, just get dressed and let's go. But you can change your height, your gender, your skin tone, your clothing, everything. And, and you know, you could walk out and be a completely different person. He's just like, dude, I've been out here for like 12 hours. What were you doing in there? Well, <laughs> funny story about that. All right, I got my guy already here and, uh, oh, ho, ho. What do we have here? Daisy from THPS4? And wait a second. Wait a second. What does that say? Is that a sports banner that says you suck? What the f Well, I just got my ride all set up. Sort of. Looks like that thing's held together with duct tape. Let's go skate. Ah yes, Eric Sparrow, our old friend and longtime skate buddy with an annoying voice. Throughout the story, you will notice that Eric Sparrow does and says things that a douchebag would say or do. Sometimes they just make him look like an ass, and sometimes they get the main protagonist in trouble. Throughout this playthrough, I'm going to have a counter, and every time Eric does or says something that a douchebag would say or do, or he gets us in trouble, I'm going to add a tally to the douchebag counter. Since he made that comment about our skateboard being held together by duct tape, I'm gonna add a point there. Now back to the action. Home sweet home. What a dump. At least it has some killer spots. The old pool down by the high school, Scabland, the drainage ditch on the south side of town, and Elm Street, our own little strip of paradise, complete with drug dealers who hate skateboarders. What up, Eric? Hey, help me out here. I was just skating, mine and my own, and the dealers grabbed my board. They tore it apart and they threw the pieces up the roof. My knee is wrecked. Could you grab them for me? Oh man. Here, I'll hold you there. So here we go, we're being introduced to basic climbing mechanics. And uh, it's a pretty easy goal. Just remember where all these things are, because there's a goal similar to this with similarly placed items in a future chapter. So yeah, do remember where these things are placed. Hey, here's your deck back. Hey, while I'm getting my ride set up again, let's see if you remember a couple of things. You can get off the board to get over terrain that would normally be hard or impossible to skate on. So, give this a try. First, get off your board, then jump over the barriers. So this is a new feature, the ability to get off your board, and once you're off your board, you can climb, like he said, you can do cavemans and you know run out of combos and then go back into combos if you lose speed or whatever else. Uh, all the differences from previous Tony Hawk games are also made note of, so the game will walk you through all the changes over time in the Tony Hawk games. So I'm going to be walking you through some of the more important things in these menus. Uh, here's the goals list. You can actually warp to any of these goals without first visiting the pedestrian. It's very handy. You'll see me use it a lot. Uh, you should use it too, guys. 
so you can also edit your skater from here. You know, you can go edit your appearance, create a trick, uh, go to the skate shop once you're sponsored. But once again, I'm mostly going to be paying attention to editing the tricks, most notably the special tricks, which you may be wondering, oh, only three slots? Well, in every level, or at least pretty much every level, uh, there's going to be a pro skating around, and they will teach you a trick, and once you get it, you get a new slot. You can change it if you want. Um, but one thing you do want to keep is the McTwist. It is required for a goal in a later chapter. So just make sure you still have that equipped. Uh, but anything else you can just go crazy with. Uh, pick whatever you want. I recommend easier specials for the first few chapters because your guy can't do like a 900 right off the bat because you need more uh, stats to, you know, get your ollies and stuff up. Speak of the devil! Yeah, we got stats here. Unlike uh, previous Tony Hawk games where you buy your stats, you actually have to do certain things to increase your stats. Like, air X amount of feet, do this trick X amount of times, hold this trick for X amount of seconds. Kind of annoying, but, you know, I can still roll with it. It's pretty easy for the most part. So if you go to options and then game progress, you can see how many goals and stuff you've done or how many tapes you've collected. It's actually very handy, so you might want to keep going back to this and see what all you've got done. So after some off-screen skating, I got most of the challenges done except for the ones that I need to be pro or amateur to unlock. So we'll get rolling on that as soon as we can. But right now we have a goal with Mike V to unlock a special slot. Whoa, Mike V. I knew you were Jersey local, but... Hey kid, just out skating? Cool. Me too. Hitting up the old neighborhood. Want a new trick to practice? Get your special meter full and hit up a flamingo. That's all there is to it, guys. Just do the button command. But I can imagine the, uh, if this was a real skater, he'd be like, well, aren't you even going to show me what the trick looks like? No! No, figure it out on your own, kid! God damn it! I'm not your babysitter. Fuck! Haven't you done prancing on and off the board? Let's actually skate. At least I'm not too gift to prance. How's your knee? I'll show you gift, but let's see you land this. Now you don't have to do this all in one combo like I did, I just do it, you know, because it seems a lot quicker, uh, but the safer way is just to do like melon revert, land, go until you get four. Yeah, 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 but can you revert it to a manual? That's it. Enough warming up. You can't beat my score, and you know it. Why try? Alright, so we're gonna school Eric Sparrow a little bit here. Uh, lesson one. Do not leave the house looking like that. Green shoes and a disgusting hoodie with a skull on the back. You look like a fruitcake. And two, don't talk shit about me. But um, anyways, this goal is easy. The CPU never really goes uh, too much above 100,000. So if you can get around 100,000, you'd be good. Easy ways to do that. Well, one, use some specials, but don't use them too much, or else the points decrease over time, just like previous games. Um, and then get your multiplier up with like freestyle manual tricks, or like modifying your lip tricks and shit. Right here, I was just trying to do a little fancy thing, you know, spine transfer, do a little spin, and then do an acid drop. The acid drop didn't come out, as you saw. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I thought it might look cool, but it didn't work out, so <laughs> it just ended up making me look like an idiot, which you might see that a little bit in this playthrough, but whatever. Easy goal, done. Hey, JT, not out racing today? Hey, the kid needs strong. Nah, Charles needs some extra nice. Hey, I'll tell you what, I'll give you five bucks to run him around the block a couple of times for me. Yes, this is definitely a way to prove I'm amazing at skateboarding. Walking a dog around a block a couple of times? Truly a great idea. I mean, practicing your skills, who does that anymore? There's really nothing to this goal, and I don't even know why it's in here. It's just monotonous. Um, just, you know, watch your balance meter when you're sketching. That's all I can say. 
Aw, oh, isn't that Turbo family just the nicest bunch? They let me walk their dog and board their car. Forget the fact that they threaten me with physical violence. <laughs> I'll, I'll get over that. So, to actually talk about the driving and such, uh, goal's easy enough. There's an arrow indicator and you just have to cruise through the cones, like it said. But, um, onto actual, like, you know, feelings about the driving in the game. Uh, if all vehicles were as easy to control as this, then I wouldn't have had a problem with it. But some of the later vehicles are just so annoying to control and the goals just aren't fun that it kind of ruins it. It also doesn't help the fact that I've never really been a fan of racing games, so I was kind of blindsided by this when I was playing the game. I don't know, I'm just not a fan of the driving goals in general, I guess. Junior, come back and kick it anytime. You're a street warrior now. You psyched to see Muska's demo? Yeah, bet you are. Hey, since you punks aren't in school, why don't you go put up some flyers? <laughs> I'll give you free tickets to the demo. Try to hit all the telephone poles and wherever kids are skating. Alright, so just do what the man with the stupid laugh said and hit all the telephone poles and wherever kids are skating. It's indicated by the fist icons, which come in handy in later goals. <laughs> This demo is about to start. Let's check it out. Yo, check this out. Chillin' chillin'. Where? Australia? See? That's how you hook it up. I mean, what's he done? Popped out a few rails and he's traveling the world, living like a king. Wow, Muska in Jersey? Unreal. I wonder if anyone could impress him. Did I mention old Chad's are show-off douchebags? Because, you know, I just want to re-emphasize. Anyways, this goal is easy enough, you just have to impress Chad Muska. He goes to a variety of skate spots and you have to accumulate that number of points. I just do one large combo and then just as he's trying to pull away in his vehicle, I just land it and then it triggers a cutscene. And this should be the end of the chapter, so I'll say goodbye for now. Hey, what's up, man? That was a sick line you had back there. Whoa, Chad Muska? I'm a huge fan! Hey, man, that's some ghetto ride you got rolling, though. Yeah, but I'm pretty broke. I gotta make it last. I hear you, man. Back in Vegas, I have no money, no place to stay, nothing, man. Until my first shop sponsor hooked me up. So why don't you head down to your shop, check out their riders, and try to get hooked up? And yo, Merry Christmas. Thanks!